latent heat. Eh? Now, before we discuss latent heat, uh, okay, let's have a look at the heating curve and cooling curve. Uh, then you have learned in uh, chemistry, okay? So in chemistry, we learn that if you heat something from solid, okay? If you heat it, the temperature will increase, okay? When the solid start to melt, then the temperature will remain unchanged, okay? Until the melting complete, then the temperature increase again okay and here is a liquid eh? okay complete melt things means that it becomes liquid and if you heat the liquids the temperature will increase when it start boiling start boiling then the temperature will remain unchanged okay and when it complete boiling then the temperature will go up again so in chemistry we learn that the temperature remain unchanged here is because the heat supply is used to break the force okay to break the intermolecular force uh, between the particles okay this is to break the force between the particles from solids to liquids uh. and this heat supplies to break the intermolecular force between the particle is called the latent heat okay latent heat uh. so that is the heat used to uh, change the state from solids to liquids uh. Okay, to change the state, we need to supply the thermal energy to break the intermolecular force between the particles. Uh, that is called latent heat. And uh, for melting process, the latent heat is called the latent heat of fusions. Latent heat of fusions. Okay. Uh, same thing happens uh, when uh, the object undergoes boiling. Okay. And uh, it's also the same. Okay. The the heat energy is used to uh, okay this times the heat energy is used to overcome the atmospheric pressure okay this one is to break the bond eh? okay so after breaking the bond there's no more uh no, no, not bond okay breaking the intermolecular force okay after breaking the intermolecular force then here you cannot say it's still breaking the intermolecular force right okay so this one actually the energy is used to overcome the atmospheric pressure okay and the energies used to do so uh, to convert uh, liquids to gas uh, is also called latent heat and it's called the latent heat of vaporizations latent heat okay this one i missed up the word heat uh, latent heat of vaporizations uh. so latent heat of fusions and uh, latent heat of vaporization that is the uh, thermal energy involved in a uh, changing state of matter so solids to liquid, liquids to gas. Okay, from solid to liquid, the latent heat will be absorbed. From uh, liquids to gas, the latent heat will also be absorbed. Okay, but uh, if this thing undergoes uh, condensations, okay, condensations, uh, still the same amount of heat involved. Okay, it's also called the latent heat of vaporization, but the latent heat will be released. Uh, from gas to liquid, the latent heat will be released, and uh, from liquids to solid, also the latent heat will be released. The amount of the heat involved is the same, and the name is also the same. Just when uh, from solid to liquid and liquid to gas, the heat is absorbed. Uh, gas to liquid, liquids to solid, the heat will be released. So let's go back to the slides. So when a solid melts, heat is absorbed, but the temperature remains constant. So when the liquid is boiling, uh, same thing, okay? Heat is absorbed, okay, but the temperatures again remain constant. So the heat absorbed or given out at constant temperature during the change of phase. Change of phase means change of state. Eh? Solid to liquid, liquid to gas, uh, gas to liquid, or okay, and uh, liquids to solid, okay. And that heat is called latent heat. Yeah, the heat is called latent heat.